Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to pass safety net on uh, using the new Magisk. So as you all know the new Magisk uh, version 24 came out and with that they removed Magisk Kide. So if you go into uh, settings here as you can see, there's no longer Magisk Kide. So I'm going to explain how to uh, update to the new Magisk and how to pass safety net as well. So it's uh, fairly straightforward. Now, the first thing what you want to do is you'll probably see an app update here. So just uh, so like here, uh, press install and then install the new APK. And then once you got that installed, you should see an update here as well. So before you install that, go into your modules and everything that has Riru. So you know the Riru core and all that kind of stuff. You need to uh, press remove and all those. Uh, as long as the module isn't using Riru, it should be it should work okay. So as you can see, all my uh, other modules that I have here actually work okay. Um, so yeah, after you uninstall like Riru Core, uh, Riru LS Post, because we'll be using a Zy Zy Jisk LS Post. So after you press remove all those uh, in here, press install, and then what you want to do is press uh, direct install, and then press let's go. And then they'll flash your flash the new Magisk and then just press reboot. And after your phone reboots, uh, what you want to do is go into settings here and then scroll down and uh, Zygisk will be disabled by default. So enable that and then enable uh, deny list. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to click on deny list. And then here you want to uh, show system apps and then here you just want to type in GMS. So and then you can see here the Google Play services. So select everything here and then if you have anything else here uh, that's like also has GMS in the name, uh, enable it also. Uh, for example, if you're using the YouTube Vanced, um, you don't need to enable that since this is, you know, it's spoofing uh, play services, so there, so uh, it's not required. And then, so yeah, just get out of that. And then what you want to do, if you want, you can go into modules and you can uh, install your LS Post. So since there's no more like module shop or whatever, you're gonna have to get all the modules manually. So if I just go into LS Post, then there should be a GitHub here. Then press on releases and go down to assets. And then you'll see two versions. There's a Zygisk version and then there's the Riru version for like the old Magisk. So just install this one like how you normally would. And then after that, simply just reboot your phone. And then after you have rebooted, you can run safety net and it'll, it should pass for you. Um, if it doesn't pass for you, you might have to play around with the fingerprint. So there's a, yeah, so there's a module called uh, Magisk uh, Props Hide or something like that. Uh, yeah, Magisk Hide Props Config. So this is it. So yeah, you can try this module here. Um, now I didn't need to use it, but all you do is after you install 
the module, uh, open up your terminal, type in su. So uh, I suppose I should kind of show you how that looks like. So if you have like termux or whatever, just grab that, uh, type in su. This will give you root access, so you can check if you actually have root access by running who am I. And because if you are not root and you run who am I, you'll be just a random number. So yeah, and then you just want to run props. And after you run that, if you have it installed, you should see um, a menu like here. And then you can just, you could just read all this stuff here. So you probably want to use edit device fingerprint, or if that doesn't work, you want to enable force basic um, attestation. <laughs> and yeah, that should work then just fine. Yeah, and then Google Pay works fine as well. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to obviously show you my actual account that I use for Google Pay, but um, like I tried it in shops, it works fine as well with this updated Magisk. So yeah, that's all good. So yeah, that's really all you need to do. Um, just thought I would want to make this quick video because I've seen a lot of people struggling to hide Magisk uh, with the new update, but it's fairly straightforward. Um, Oh yeah, another thing you might want to do also is you want to hide the Magisk app here. So that'll just change it to a different name. And then for example, stuff like LS Post uh, here, that all works fine. Uh, so I have Gravity Box and Next Privacy Lua. Uh, for some reason, Gravity Box uh, reset all its settings. So I had to like redo all the configuration when I updated, but like it still works. You can see I have like the battery bar here. I have the uh, RAM free here and the changes here and so on. So yeah, everything still works just fine. So yeah, the main thing is just go into deny list and then make sure that all of the Google Play services are inside the deny list and then it works just fine after you, re you reboot of course so yeah uh, thanks for watching and bye bye